after four o'clock at a clothing warehouse in the Roundhay district of Leeds. 60 firemen are at the scene at the moment. One eyewitness has reported seeing a man running from the building shortly before the blaze began. I looked out the window, this, uh, having a dinner, and looked out the kitchen window. And there was such a ball of fire. And that, earlier to me, I thought somebody had thrown a bomb in it himself, you know what I mean? And also we saw, well, half an hour before that, we saw a dark light come out. And five minutes after, after he'd gone, it was such a ball of fire. Shortly after the officer in charge arrived, the fire was so serious that he made pumps five. Uh, and then about 10 minutes later, he made pumps eight. This gave a good indication that a serious fire was underway with the building smoke logged, and we also had information there may well be persons inside the premises. What we have now got uh, is a situation in which we can still not yet able to determine exactly whether everyone is clear of the premises, and this is why we still have four breathing apparatus men still in the building, searching until such time as that confirmation comes through. Uh, there is also a danger of collapse, as you can see, because the roof has partly gone, and all that particular weight has been transferred onto the second floor and now through onto the first floor. So we've got safety men posted, but we must still continue to search to make sure that everyone is out of the building. Police say they're still worried about two people who are unaccounted for. Houses nearby have been evacuated. Firemen were called to the warehouse on Roundy Road next to the Gaiety pub just after four o'clock. By the time they arrived a few minutes later, both floors were ablaze. The building was packed with clothing and uncut textiles. More firemen were called in, then came reports that people were still trapped inside the building. Firemen using oxygen masks had been unable to reach them, driven back by the intense heat and falling masonry. As firemen battled to stop the blaze spreading to nearby houses and businesses, many reported seeing people trapped inside. I just saw a man screaming for help to get him out of that second window, and I'm screaming there's one left in, but I couldn't get to him. No. What state was the building in at that point? It was in a bad state, then it was all clean. <laughs> Many, too, claim they saw the fire being started deliberately. For one man, it was a lucky escape as his business on the second floor went up in smoke. Before the, before the fire started, uh, there was a chap who came down to my landlord, who is downstairs. And uh, he sent his son to me and he said, would you come down, there was somebody who wants to meet to, to with you. So I came down and uh, he said, uh, I'm going to set this place on fire if you don't pay me £4,000. And, uh, and then when I said to Mr. Anders, I said, the landlord, I said, why don't you bring the police? This man threatening to, to put this building on fire. So he just walked away, he said, you can't do business with me uh, because I'm going to burn Gaty tonight. And uh, uh, he just walked out and we rang the police up. And when, while we were sort of, I think while Mr. Anand was speaking to them, they, there was a shout outside that there was a, the place is on fire. Firemen are still at the scene and police have confirmed they are treating the blaze as suspicious. Damage is being estimated at hundreds of thousands of pounds. Tonight, with a number of people still unaccounted for, police have appealed for any people that worked in or visited the warehouse regularly to come forward. They also want to hear from anyone who may have seen exactly how the fire started. Appeared in court today, accused of murder, blackmail and arson following a fatal fire in the city two days ago. Ian Lazarus, a former professional boxer from Hilltop Street in Hyde Park, was accused of murdering 65-year-old Abdul Aziz from Hare Hills. Mr Aziz died in the blaze at a clothing warehouse in Roundhay on Wednesday. Lazarus was charged with demanding £4,000 from the warehouse owner and arson. He was remanded in custody for six days by Leeds Magistrate.